Okay, so the next step is to import your video clips from your iPhone's camera roll to your computer. I'm using my MacBook Pro for this example, but you can use a Windows or other device. Uh, just make sure that your computer already recognizes your iPhone. Now, once it already recognizes your iPhone and you've gone through the steps to do so, the first thing you wanna do is create a new folder here on your desktop. So I'm gonna to go to File, New Folder, uh, right here on the top right. I'm gonna just rename it MZF Course Clips. Okay, so now that you have your new folder set up to take in all your clips, uh, the next thing you want to do is go to Photos. And right here where it says devices, it says Michael's iPhone, so my computer already recognizes my iPhone. Right here under albums, there's already the album video imports. You can create your own if you want. All you have to do is just go to, uh, go to Michael's iPhone or your device. Mine says Michael's iPhone. Go to import to, and under that, uh, you can choose new album, create a new album if you want. Um, but I already have video imports, so I'm gonna keep it as that. So make sure that your iPhone is unlocked while you're doing this and it's on and it's not sleeping so that your computer recognizes the new video clips that you've just recently uploaded to your camera roll from your other apps. So now let's select the clips that we need. Here in video imports, I've already uploaded all the uh, workout clips that I shot with Carl, but let's go ahead and upload the other clips from the office that we filmed. So go to Michael's iPhone and I'm gonna scroll down here. So here are all the clips that we just filmed. I'm going to just drag and highlight all the clips that we need. Now you can also select individuals. The way to do that, you can either press command and then click on each individually, or if you want to highlight these two, you can press shift and drag over the two that you want to select. You're going to import the 59 selected, okay? If you want to import all new items, it's going to import everything that you've taken, videos, photos, whatever, from your iPhone's camera roll. There's also option here that says delete items after import. Don't uh, check that unless you intend to do so. You want to make sure you still have the items just in case. Okay, so let's import them. All right, so it's importing the items. It's going to take a little while. You can see there's this circle right here. This is the progress meter. So once it does like a, once it fills up fully, then that's when all the video files are within the video imports album. So you can see some files are starting to trickle in and uh, starting to be imported. Okay, so now all the video clips are imported and are in the video imports album. Um, so the next thing that um, I need to do is take all the clips that I filmed and move them over to the new folder that I just created on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift and then hold down the mouse while I drag it over the clips I want and then let them go. I'm going to press shift again and then just drag and highlight over all the clips I want. Perfect. So from here, I'm just going to select this clip and move all 91 clips over and just drop them in the new folder. Right now, they're currently being transferred over. You can see right here, this shows the progress of that transfer. And for now, just gonna wait until all the clips have been transferred over to the folder on your desktop. So another way to transfer your files is through AirDrop. Now this can only be done between Apple devices. So let's say transferring a file from one iPhone to another or from your iPhone to your computer or vice versa. 
Um, also, make sure that your Bluetooth is on to enable uh, AirDrop. Right here in the bottom left, uh, the share icon, um, I hit that and then you can see right here, um, it recognizes my MacBook Pro where that circle is, the MZ is. So we have this uh, clip selected. You can also select other clips just by uh, swiping to the side and making sure that they're checkmarked. But we'll just use this clip for this example. Here on my MacBook, I go to AirDrop. And here in AirDrop, it's, uh, it recognizes the iPhone. So I can select any other clips that I want, but I just want to send this one. Now, I highly recommend just using this if you want to send maybe one or three clips, just because, you know, it, it's, it's faster if you were to do it, if you are to connect your iPhone to your computer through the um, iPhone cable. But um, this is just a faster way if you just need to transfer over uh, just a few clips. Okay, so I have this clip selected. I'm gonna press on where it says um, the MacBook Pro. And you can see that it's transferring over. So you'll get a you'll get a notification on your computer or device um, that a file has been transferred. Now here in the computer, um, you can see that it says allow me to be discovered by contacts only. Um, you have other options right here. Everyone, no one, contacts only. If you have everyone, that means that anyone that has like an Apple device that's close to you, they'll be able to see or, or their device will recognize your device right away. Um, so unless you want that, I, I recommend doing contacts only or just turn off your Bluetooth. This file is uh, shot in 4K. It's about a minute minute and 40 seconds so it's going to take a little while for it to upload that's why i recommend um doing this if you just need to send over one to two clips so once it's done transferring to your computer you'll get a no notification and from there you can go to downloads and date added it would be the most recent so right here at the top there you go there's your file now, if you want to transfer any files from the computer to your iPhone, this is how you would do it. So all we have to do is hover it over um, until it highlights and then let go. And then you can see on your phone that um, you're being shared a video via AirDrop. All right. And then let's go back here. As you can see, there's a file that we just airdropped from the MacBook to the iPhone. Okay, so now that you know how to transfer your video clips to your computer, now let's go into the editing room and start going over the basics of the editing process. Another way is to transfer the video through Google Drive. Now this works if you have a MacBook or a PC. So the first thing you want to do is to sign into your Google account. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead and create a new tab and just type in Google Drive and click here for Google Drive. Under personal, go to Google Drive. And right here is your Google Drive page. So all you have to do is go to the file that you want to add in, drag and drop and upload it. So even after it uploads to your Google Drive on your computer, it still needs to process. So if you try to go back to your Google Drive app on your phone, you may not see it right away. So give it some time to fully process. So you can see right here that Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes of storage space. Whenever you're uploading files to your Google Drive, you wanna make sure that you have some space freed up for new files. 
while this video is processing, I just uploaded a picture of Carl. Um, I'm going to show you how to delete files. So all you have to do is right click on the file you want to remove, click remove, and it's not fully deleted. What you have to do is go to trash right here, click it, and you can see this is the picture that we just removed. Go ahead and click it to highlight it. Um, click this trash icon. It drops down, it says empty trash. Click empty trash, and then click this again to empty trash. And now you have fully deleted that file. So it's no longer taking up space on your Google Drive. The next step is to download the Google Drive app to your phone. Okay, now let's head into the Google Drive app. Make sure that you're signed in to the same account. And you can see that here is the video that we just uploaded. When we tap on the video, Hi, my name is Carlton Dennis and I help everyday taxpayers avoid paying taxes legally. As a tax strategist, I have built my career by following wealthy... All right, tap on the screen again. And you see the three dots on the top right hand corner. Tap on those. And then we'll scroll down and choose send a copy. And there in the bottom left, press save video. Make sure that your Wi-Fi is fast enough for this process. All right, and then press OK. All right, so now let's exit out of the app and check our photos. And as you can see, there's a the video. Hi, my name is Carlton Dennis and I help everyday taxpayers avoid paying taxes legally. So if you don't have the option of AirDrop, you can use the Google Drive app to send files from your phone to your computer. Here on the bottom right, there's a plus. Tap on that and then tap on the upload icon and then photos and videos. All right, so let's head into the camera roll. All you have to do is just tap on the file that you want and there's a check mark right there. So tap on upload. You can see that it's, it's processing uploads. All right, perfect. As you can see right here on my computer, there's the file. So to download it, to your computer. All you have to do is right click on the file and click on download. Right here, it's downloaded. You can also go to your downloads and your file should be there as well. Let's go to downloads. There it is. Now, if you want to download multiple files, to your computer, you can just select that by clicking and dragging across and highlighting all the files you want. And then you're gonna right click and click on download. And it's gonna prepare a zip file with those files that you just highlighted. Transferring files through Google Drive from your phone to your computer or vice versa comes very handy when you are only sending just a couple files.